Welcome to another academic class tutorial. I will show you today how to import a CAD file into Revit and how to manage line type, line weight and layers. Normally there's a lot of layers here in as you can see there's a lot of layers in that CAD file. We use colors to work comfortable in AutoCAD but of course we don't print that CAD file as you see now. We use that pink or that red just to organize these by layers, but then we convert everything to black with different light weights. So that is very simple into Revit. I will show you how. So the first thing is go to Revit and go to insert tab and link a cat. We have two options to bring a cat file into Revit. One is import cat and one is link. Import CAD is basically bring that CAD file into Revit and we don't have the option to edit the CAD file again. But if you just link a CAD, it's basically an external reference. So we can edit the CAD file and those changes come up to Revit. I prefer always use link a CAD because if you link a CAD and for some reason we need to import that file, it's very simple to convert the link CAD into an import cat. So let's start with link a cat. Go to desktop and select floor plan example. We have a few options here. Colors. We can preserve these colors or convert everything in black and white. I prefer to keep the same colors and I will show you how to to change these colors and line weights and, and etc. And what lies we want to bring all layers, just visible layers, or we can specify the layers we're going to bring. I'm going to click in all for now. Import unit, that's very important. So we need to check in our CAD file what units are we using. If you're using millimeters or meters or inches or whatever, and the software convert that unit from AutoCAD into the unit we're using in Revit. And positioning is there's a few options here. I'm going to use origin to region. That's the best one. It's basically overlap the 00, zero in AutoCAD and overlap into 00, zero in Revit. So let's click in open. And that is my CAD file. So as you can see that, so my 00, zero in Revit is here and the zero zero in AutoCAD is almost here. That is not a problem now. So let's have a look. So if you select, if you try to select these lines, we can't. It's a standard reference. And now we're going to manage how to switch off a few layers or just basically change the color. Go to View, Visibility Graphics. And there's a new tab here is import categories. If you open that, you we can see floor plan example DWG. So just open that and all the layers we got in AutoCAD, they are here. So let's select, for example, one of these layers and click in override. And now we can change the color we can chain the line weight or we can chain the pattern if it's necessary. Just click OK, click OK, and the layer is chain. Let me check what layer is that in AutoCAD. That's the layer. It's EB4, so let's find that layer. Go to visibility graphics again import categories, floor plan examples. That's the layer, just clicking override. The color is gonna be black now. And the pattern is gonna be center. And lightweight is like four. Just click okay, click okay. And that chain, as you can see, is very simple very easy to use and um, if you want to switch off the layer 
Let's go to the same tab and just click that option so that layer is off. Thank you for watching.